Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel, another 7 Days to Die video. I'm doing all this on Alpha 16.4 on the PC. I don't know if this works on consoles, we'll just have to kind of see and you'll have to let me know if it does or not. So today, we're going to be breaking a couple laws, mostly the law of physics. Now this may be something you've seen in another video. This is not my original creation, I can't take credit for this, I've seen it used several times before. I don't know who originally came up with this, but it is a floating base. As you can see, it's completely floating here, thus making it impervious to zombie attacks. Now, of course, if you decide to build it just normal height off the ground like the average person, then you're still going to be susceptible to the crows flying around, or the vultures, I should say, and uh, spitting cops. They'll still be able to wreck you. But I'm going to show you how to build this. It's not too hard, but it's a little bit finicky. So let's jump over and we'll start from scratch and I'll show you what you're going to need. Okay. This isn't really that complicated, but it's a little finicky to get it to work right because everything has to be just perfect for it to work or everything can just fall apart. So the first thing you're going to need to do is just find a place where you can dig a hole. Just one block down and three blocks wide. So there you have it. Just a, just a small little hole there. Now what you need is a couple wood frames. You want to place it like right on the very edge like that so that it's just a little bit overlapping the hole here and to make life a little bit easier go ahead and stack them up you know if you got creative mode on you can fly make it a little easier if not you're gonna have to nerd pull just go ahead and go up a little ways all right the next part is where it gets really really finicky so you're gonna have to have your drawbridge here now the first thing you need to do is hold down the r button on the keyboard and select advanced rotation now we scoot back just a smidge so that you're not blocking the actual placement of this here and you're going to left click until you see it rotate around where it's partially in the ground and i'll show you what that looks like okay so you want to get it so it's facing upwards like this and you can see that the connecting part of it is underground and the hydraulic pumps and stuff are going down into the ground like this and so you get it just perfectly lined up like this and then you'll just right click it to get it to stay there so you can see it's kind of sitting inside the ground you do have to rotate it quite a few times to get it to stay that way all right the next thing you need to do is to make sure you can go up and about another six or seven blocks up here it's a little easier if you just give yourself some leeway so that you're right above it and a little easier one two three four five six should be enough and then just make sure it's about three wide and this is where you're going to connect the other actual drawbridge here and you're going to do the same thing you did on the last one here you need to hold down the r button so that you can access the advanced rotation and what you're going to look for is you're going to get it to rotate around so that it's facing upside down facing the opposite direction that the one that you just placed and i'll show you what that looks like Okay, so you're going to want to kind of place it like this. Now, it's not always going to line up perfect. It doesn't really matter. But as you can see how the hydraulics are facing outwards going upwards and versus like the other ones, they were facing outwards going down. So you want to make it so that they're opposites right on top of each other. And then you just right click again to get it to connect to the setup that you have up here. And you want to make sure that they're right on top of each other like this. Like I said, it doesn't matter that they're not completely lined up. If you can get it perfect, great. If not, it's not really that big a deal. Now what you want to do is you want to get a nice sturdy block. I'm going with just regular wooden blocks here just because it's a good starting point. And this will be the spot that you want to start building out your base from here. This is where all the weight bearing is going to go for your base. And you can kind of build around as is. Now you can't put one here where the actual hydraulics are. So you have to put a, a little gap in between each one of those. Go out around here. It doesn't matter if you cover up the hydraulics because, like I said, we're breaking some laws. It doesn't necessarily matter. Come around over here. And you can start picking up some of your wood frames from previous. And you can see how that's kind of working out now. Now what you can do is you can pick up the rest of your wood frames that you put down earlier. all the way to the ground level. And you can see that it really look, makes no sense at all exactly how that's working. And if you open up the very bottom one, you'll see that it'll open up right flat with the ground. If you can get it managed to get in the hole just a little bit better, it'll actually go under the ground. You can't even see it. This is not such a big deal. This is more just an aesthetic thing. They're gonna walk right over the top of it anyway. But for the one that you have up here, when you open this one up, it opens upwards like this through the door. And now you have a floating base. Now, you may be asking, how in the world do I possibly get up here if I don't have creative mode? Well, you can always nerd pull up here if you needed to, you know, just by jump stacking a bunch of wood frames and then take some of them down because the zombies aren't going to try and attack that anyway if you're not sitting on top of it. But 
it is just like a normal building structure it does break some of the physics as far as the fact that it floats up here but you can't just build out extensively so if you go out more than about seven blocks from the major weight bearing part right here in the middle it will stop dropping blocks off of it so if you're building a base up here just keep in mind that it follows normal building structure but as far as my testing goes up here you can use whatever weight that you want to because as far as the game is concerned there is a heavy duty weight bearing load bearing wall right here down the middle and that's pretty much it like i said this is not my original creation i don't know who originally did this i'm sorry if i did i'll completely give them the credit for it but i've had a number of people asking me how to do this so hopefully this little tutorial will actually help you out maybe give you a little something fun to do again yes I know this is completely cheap because once you get up here you're pretty much impervious but if you're just looking for something kind of fun to do I mean we've done cheap stuff before we made a wall out of chassis and we were completely safe through a feral horde so that's pretty much how you do this so yeah if you have any other suggestions for stuff like this to do definitely share it with me and I'll add it to the list because this is just fun this is just having fun with the game hopefully you found this useful if you have any questions or if you run into any problems you know do drop it in the comment section I'll see if I can help you out he's smiling at you he's happy for you too thank you guys so much for your time be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already so don't miss out on future videos thank you for your time you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later